hello students now in this lecture we will be discussing about the nitrogen cycle we are going to talk about nitrogen cycle before discussing nitrogen cycle in the last lecture we have discussed about the nitrogen fixation that what is the meaning of nitrogen fixation and we have also studied that how in various uh, like with the help of the different processes or in different ways nitrogen fixation uh, occurs in the nature here we will be discussing about the about the nitrogen cycle so first of all what is the meaning of nitrogen cycle whenever we talk about cycle it can be about the oxygen cycle or any cycle when we talk about cycle when we say cycle that means we are talking about the circulation that means we are talking about the rotation in nitrogen cycle we are talking about which cycle which rotation or which circulation definitely we are discussing about the nitrogen rotation or we can say circulation of nitrogen or we can say the cycle of nitrogen we are discussing about now when we say that we are discussing about the circulation of nitrogen between what are we talking what are we talking that where nitrogen is being circulated so nitrogen is circulated or the rotation or the circulation of nitrogen between the living and the non living things is known as nitrogen cycle let me write the definition of nitrogen cycle the circulation of nitrogen through this line is not so straight living and non living things is nitrogen cycle so what is the meaning of nitrogen cycle the circulation of nitrogen that means what is in rotation circulation of nitrogen and where it is being circulating or where this rotation is taking place so between the living things and the non living things so now we will talk about how the circulation takes place how does nitrogen comes in living organism or how it is utilized by living organism and then how it is it becomes a part of the atmosphere and how again from the atmosphere it is utilized by the uh, living things so first of all we will i have wrapped this so that we can draw the cycle very very properly first of all we'll talk about the nitrogen in the atmosphere this is nitrogen in the atmosphere we know that nitrogen from the atmosphere get converted into the compounds of nitrogen and if this nitrogen does not get suppose if it doesn't get converted in the forms of nitrogen or compounds of nitrogen then it will be impossible for the plants to absorb the nitrogen in the form of pure nitrogen i'm talking about that means i'm telling that if nitrogen doesn't gets converted in its compound plants won't be able to absorb nitrogen and it happens in the nature that nitrogen get converted into its compound 
it is very very important because plants can absorb nitrogen in its the in, in the form of its compounds and so this conversion of nitrogen to the compounds of nitrogen is very very important we have discussed that in the previous lecture we have discussed that how nitrogen get converted into the forms of nitrogen or we can say that how nitrogen get converted into the compounds of nitrogen we are now very much familiar we know the ways that how nitrogen get converted into its compounds first means is we have read that due to lightning lightning fixes nitrogen lightning fixes nitrogen we have discussed this thing that how during the lightning the nitrogen get fixed or fixation of nitrogen takes place what happened over here actually what uh, what we have discussed we have discussed that during the lightning the temperature increased during the lightning the temperature get increased i'm talking about the atmosphere and at this high temperature at this high temperature when nitrogen i'm talking about lightning now we have discussed that during the lightning the temperature get increased at this high temperature nitrogen get combined or nitrogen combines with oxygen during lightning when the temperature get increase nitrogen combines with oxygen and oxides are formed this oxides re reacts with or get dissolved in rain water and here very very dilute very dilute nitric acid is formed and when this reacts with alkali here nitrates are formed we have read this in previous chapter and so i won't be discussing in detail but what we have discussed i'm talking about now nitrogen cycle what is the meaning of nitrogen cycle the circulation of nitrogen between or through the living organism and non living organism is known as nitrogen cycle now first of all i am talking about the nitrogen which, which is present in the atmosphere this nitrogen is fixed or the fixation of the nitrogen takes place during the lightning so how this process takes place during lightning when the temperature increased the nitrogen combines with the oxygen definitely the oxides will be formed this thing will be discussing in detail that how oxides re reacts with water uh, in the chapter metals and non metals but to continue over here now this oxides which are formed due to the reaction of nitrogen with oxygen the oxides get dissolved in rain water now due to this what when the oxide get dissolved in the rain water or reacts with rain water very dilute hno3 or nitric acid is formed now when this dilute nitric acid comes to the earth comes to the surface of the earth it reacts with the alkalis which are present in the surface of the earth and due to this the nitrates are formed that means here what we are talking about lightning fixes nitrogen now that means what is formed over here nitrates will be formed so i can write a very small thing over here i can write over here compounds of compounds of nitrogen 
compounds of nitrogen in this soil compounds of nitrogen in this soil now due to lightning this get converted into the compounds of nitrogen in the soil we have also discussed other ways how the nitrogen fixation takes place so what are the other ways we know rhizobium or we can say certain bacteria certain bacteria we also know blue green algae so bacteria and blue green algae fixes nitrogen fixes nitrogen so bacteria and blue green algae fixes nitrogen and due to this fixation we have discussed this thing many a times that bacteria like rhizobium and blue green algae like nostoc and anabena this uh, what they do they fixes nitrogen that means they convert nitrogen into the nitrates or the uh, we can say the compounds of nitrogen so again the bacteria and blue green algae fixes nitrogen and when i am saying that this are fixing then what will be formed over here obviously the nitrogen the atmospheric or the nitrogen will be converted into nitrates so nitrogen is converted into nitrates and where it is going to go where it is going to go it will be going in the soil this we have discussed and i think this is very very clear now what is happening with the nitrates inside the soil who will take where will it go so this is been taken by the plants absorbed by the plants this nitrates or the nitrates is absorbed by the plants here from the soil nitrates get absorbed or or the plants absorb the nitrates or the compounds of the nitrogen now here what is happening with the nitrates now here the nitrates or the compounds of nitrogen will be converted into plant protein that means what plants are going to do what plants are going to do plants will be conver converting plants will be will be converting nitrogen compounds into plant proteins plants proteins where or what will be happening now we all know each and every living organism on the surface of the earth except the plants cannot prepare their own food all the organism or i can say all the animals except plants are heterotrophs they have heterotrophic mode of nutrition they can be parasites or can be saprophytes but directly or indirectly the nutrition will be taken from the plants directly or indirectly the nutrition has to be taken from the plants very clear from here that this plants or the protein of the plants first of all the plants will be consumed by the animals 
each and every animal needs plants if we talk about human beings we talk about rat cat dog lion tiger each and every animal present on the surface of the earth depends upon the plants directly or indirectly definitely the plants will be consumed the plants will be consumed by animals now when the plants are consumed by the animals then what will happen we hear children we know till here the plants protein were formed the plants protein was formed now from here the plant protein will be converted into animal protein the plant protein will be converted into animal protein now we have almost discussed about the half of the uh, cycle now here this animals what will happen over here now animals and plants definitely both die so animals and plants will die or after the death of the plants and animals death of the plants and animals what will happen i'll explain you just a second what will happen the plants will also die and the animals will also die all the plants and all the animals has to die one day so plants and animals die that means death of the plants and animals and even the animals excrete the excreta the waste material of the animals waste material of the animals now the waste material of the animals and after the plants and the animals die now what will happen here we are talking about the plants protein and the animal protein when the plants will die the plant protein will be there in the body of the plant when the animals die the protein is there in the body now this has to be again come out of the body as isn't it and we all know that on the dead bodies of the plants or the animals who will work upon this obviously the bacteria and the fungi work upon the dead bodies of plants and animals at the same time the bacteria or other microorganisms will also break the waste of the animals we know here the plant proteins animal proteins or excreta of the animals has to be broken down into the smaller smaller particles and then again it has to come in the atmosphere but we know how it will come first of all the decay of the plants and animals and even the decay of the excreta of the animals that means again it will be converted now where and how it will be converted now here the proteins will get converted into ammonia here the proteins will get converted into ammonia now this is known as ammonification i am writing over here there is no place now now ammonification what is the meaning of ammonification ammonification means when the proteins get converted when the proteins get converted into ammonia this process is known as ammonification that means here ammonia will reach in the soil now from ammonia now what will happen from ammonia again 
the formation of nitrites and then nitrates will take place that means from ammonia what will happen now nitrites will be formed nitrites will be formed into nitrates this is a rough column where i am showing you now from the body of the plants and animals the protein gets converted into ammonia this process is known as ammonification where the ammonia get released now this ammonia get converted into nitrites ammonia gets converted into nitrites and then nitrites get converted into nitrates and again it comes into the soil now who converts ammonia to nitrites what converts ammonia to nitrites so nitrosomonas bacteria nitrosomonas bacteria nitrosomonas bacteria converts ammonia into nitrites and who converts nitrites into nitrates so nitrobacter group so nitrobacter group converts this also i should write over here group nitrosomonas bacteria or group i should write converts the ammonia into nitrites and here nitrites get converted into nitrite nitrates by nitrobacter group of bacteria now this comes into the ammonia ammonia get mixed up into the soil and it again get converted by certain processes again get converted into the nitrates now what will happen now this nitrates i'll have to rub a little over here this is not the part of the cycle this is the explanation now whatever nitrates are there or whatever compounds are there now directly also what happens there are certain bacteria which convert the compounds into the atmospheric nitrogen please pay attention over here this nitrogen compounds get converted directly into the nitrogen it the free nitrogen comes and how this is happening it is done by pseudomonas and this process is known as denitrification denitri fication when this nitrates are formed when the nitrates are formed or the formation of nitrates is known as nitrification so the breaking of uh, nitrates into the free nitrogen is known as denitrification i have written something extra over here just to explain but this is the main cycle now we'll talk again about the nitrogen cycle first of all what is the meaning of the nitrogen cycle the circulation of the nitrogen between the living and the non living organism is known as nitrogen cycle first of all there are certain different procedures or different ways how the nitrogen get converted into its compounds first of all we know that lightning also fixes nitrogen we have discussed how lightning fixes nitrogen so the first way the nitrogen of the atmosphere get converted into the compounds of nitrogen again certain bacteria and blue green algae also converts nitrogen into its compound very simple this compounds of nitrogen this compounds of nitrogen which are present in the soil will be absorbed by the plants and this when will it will be absorbed by the plants it will be utilized for the formation of the plants protein this has to be very this has to be set in the mind that why this is not happening nitrogen is present in the atmosphere can 
this nitrogen be absorbed by the plants directly if this would have possible there was uh, there would be you know there, there was no need of all these these procedures but it's not the case plants cannot absorb the nitrogen in the nitrogen form only the plants can absorb nitrogen in the form of its compounds so nitrogen is converted into its compounds due to lightning due to rhizobium or certain different kinds of bacteria also because of certain blue green algae it comes in the form of the compounds of nitrogen now these compounds of nitrogen are absorbed by the plants now here the compounds of nitrogen are utilized by the plants to make the plants protein which is consumed that means the plants are consumed by the animals eaten by the animals directly or indirectly and here the plant protein is utilized by the animals to get or to form animal protein so here animal protein will be formed plants will die animals will die but protein is there in the body now this protein has to be you know it has to come into the nature excreta of the or the waste material of the animals it all is broken that means the protein is being broken into ammonia this ammonia comes into the soil now i have written over here but directly it ha i have written directly over here but in between what is happening this is known as ammonification what is known as ammonification when the proteins from the body of the plants and the animals get converted into ammonia this is known as ammonification what is the meaning of ammonification the conversion of proteins into ammonium or the compounds of ammonia is known as the ammonification now after this ammonia is formed certain groups of bacteria act upon the ammonia and convert ammonia into nitrites now again certain different groups of bacteria work or act upon the nitrites and convert nitrites into nitrates now this nitrates get mixed up in the soil and is absorbed by the plants again there are certain bacteria present in the soil or in the uh, i should say soil certain bacteria are there which work upon the nitrates or which break the nitrates and what is evolved over here free nitrogen comes into the atmosphere the process of formation of nitrates from the ammonia is known as nitrification that means the formation of nitrates formation of nitrates is known as nitrification now reverse of that the breakdown of nitrates is known as denitrification is known as denitrification this is how we can see the atmosphere comes in contact of the living organism it is utilized by the living organism in different forms and from there again once it becomes a part of the nature maybe due to the death uh, of the organism maybe due to the excreta of the organism again the bacteria or the microbes work or act or break uh, these molecules and again the nitrogen come or the the atmospheric nitrogen is formed due to all these microbes due to all these activities the balance in the nature of balance of what the balance of nitrogen remains same in the atmosphere or in the nature this cycle is very very important actually in the nature whatever cycle we talk about it can be you know about the food web food uh, food chain food waves web sorry uh, it can be the oxygen and carbon dioxide cycle it can be water cycle it can it talk about any cycle balance in the nature is very very important a little disturbance in the balance give rise to uh, many uh, 
you know, destructive sites are there. Many disbalances can be the status balance will give rise to major disbalances. So this is all about nitrogen cycle. How nitrogen is present in the uh, atmosphere, which is utilized by the bacteria or converted by bacteria and blue green algae into the compounds. These compounds are absorbed by the plants. Plants are eaten by the animals. Animals and plants die. Plants or the animals they die and after the death the protein gets converted again into ammonia when the protein of the plants and animals get converted into ammonia it is known as ammonification. From this ammonia nitrites are formed from the nitrites nitrates are formed again they are present in the soil and utilized by the plants that means this is soil and again they have got the nutrients from the soil and after the death again they are going to become the part of the soil. Then there are certain bacteria which converts the nitrates into and they release the they give the free nitrogen or the free nitrogen comes into the nature. What is known, what is nitrification? The formation of nitrates is known as nitrification. The formation of ammonia is known as ammonification. The breakdown of nitrates is known as denitrification. Here also we have read about the lightning that how in lightning the nitrates are formed. This here I have written that plants will be converting nitrogen when the uh, nitrogen compounds are being absorbed will be converting nitrogen compounds. This is compounds I have written in short form because there is no place to write. So plants will be converting nitrogen compounds into plants protein here. Nitrogen, nitrogen will be absorbed and will be converted by the plants into the plants protein. From the plants protein the animal proteins is formed by the animals when the animals will be consuming the plants the animal protein will be formed. Here I have written um, how ammonification takes place like what is ammonification from the formation of ammonia from protein is known as ammonification. Nitrosomonas group of the bacteria converts ammonia into nitrites. Nitrobacter group converts nitrites into nitrates and pseudomonas group convert the nitrates directly into the like it is known as denitrification it is not directly it is directly <laughs> slip of tongue. So uh, it gets converted into the it comes in the form of the free nitrogen. Here we can see that nitrogen is changing its form. It comes in the compounds again the compounds are broken down and nitrogen comes into the uh, atmosphere. Here the circulation is taking place that means here it is not the case that the plants have absorbed and the it is there inside the body of plants only no. It will be consumed by the animals then again animal protein will be formed and even after the death of the plants and animals it is not the case that the proteins or whatever elements are there will remain in the body of plants and animals. No, it will be again broken down into the smaller or we can say that the free the nitrogen will be released. So this is how the balance of nitrogen is maintained uh, in the atmosphere. This is how the nitrogen circulates between the uh, living things and the non-living things. All the role the role of the microorganisms is very very important. So we are we always say that microorganisms are very important for us. We know that microorganisms are present everywhere in soil, in air, in water, everywhere microorganisms are present. There are only very few microorganisms which are very harmful for us. But there are uh, many microorganisms which are uh, beneficial for us and many are there which are just you know uh, which if they are not useful they are not even harmful for us. This is the just one example how the nature uh, keep balance between the uh, the elements of the like the how the balance of the uh, elements is maintained in the atmosphere. 
here we have discussed about the nitrogen cycle in the atmosphere how the nitrogen comes in the atmosphere how it comes get converted into its forms how uh, how it can get converted into the uh, ammonia the nitrites and nitrates again how it is absorbed by the plants again from the body of the plants to the animal body from the animal body to the uh, again it comes in the in the nature so this is all about the nitrogen cycle now we will move to the next topic please note this